Jack, if I go, I want you to make me a promise that you'll always love me. Of course, Mom. And you'll never get married. I need a commitment. I want to be married. I can't walk out. Jack Singer has made his decision. Let's just do it. Get on a plane, go to Vegas and do it. Now. Jack is going to get married. You're serious? I must be. My legs are paralyzed. But a funny thing happens on the way to the wedding. Sorry, man. Straight flush to the Jack. To the queen. Wise men say. You owe Tommy Coleman $65,000. Only fool. Eddie, do you have a solution? I do. I want your girlfriend for the weekend. You brought me to Las Vegas and you turned me into a hooker, Jack! I'll be a perfect gentleman. He's taking me to Hawaii. No! No! Lord Almighty, feel my temperature rise. So, Corman's address is near Kapa'a. Or is it Kapa'a or Kapa'a? If you want to leave, believe me, I understand. Is it AAA or AA? It's just a little overwhelming, you know, to be pursued like this. What about near where Don Ho or Jack Lord lives? That must be a pretty good neighborhood. Why the women, when they come here, oh, they get crazy. They like freaky freaky all night long. No one ever was as crazy about you as I am. Well, that's just so wonderful to hear. Let's just fly to Vegas and get married and come with our lives. Just get me anywhere where I can get a connecting flight to Las Vegas. Las Vegas, anybody? Oh, come on, hop aboard. We're the blind elves of Utah, Captain. Well, bless my soul. The king may be dead, but Jack Singer is not far behind. Listen, if you could just drop me. Oh, yeah, yeah, would you drop me? Honeymoon in Vegas. <laughs> It was first reported at a house in a small town in New Hampshire. It was horrible. So needless to say, I was doing all sorts of exorcisms. The only problem with my house was the name of my house. It just happened to be called The Bates House. In New York City, they were shocked by it. I have never wanted to disappear from a place more in my life. I was... I was barking. I was barking in front of the Museum of Modern Art. In Moscow, the Russians caught wind of it. The first thing that I discover, there was no vodka. Evidently, prohibition was on, yet the word was never spoken. You never hear anyone say, when will the vodka come again? Down under, they were frightened by it. So he gets back to his hotel, and it begins to rise up again. And he tries to exercise it with these ornate rituals. In Nicaragua, it made people paranoid. Let's get out of here before what happened to them happens to us. In Los Angeles, they were ready to cut a deal for the story. These people had been up since 5 in the morning doing kung fu, jogging, reading scripts, eating blue-green algae from the bottom of the Oregon lakes, and you walk into that room, and they are there, and they are ready. And this agent says to me, We all hope you're not one of those artists that's afraid to make money. Uh, no, uh, I, I, I don't think so. How, uh, how much money are we talking about here? He survived swimming to Cambodia. No. The adventure continues. <coughs> Spalding Gray's monster in a box. Great! I'm going! <laughs> <laughs>